Welcome to Yamanashi everyone, this is my second time here. Let me get you guys back up to speed. Castle now. Mm, this is so good. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to the bottom of the Bodai Day, which is 287 steps to enlightenment. This is actually really steep. Our first stop is a mountain called Minobusan. The stairs are separated into what's called the Bodai Moku, which is basically like the chant that's used in Buddhism. There's a very spiritual element to the huge staircase that we're climbing here that's really rooted in the cultural history of Buddhism. We gotta get to the top to find out more. We made it to the top, as you can see from the sweat. <laughs> we made it to Kuonji, which is one of the most famous Buddhist temples for the Nichiren sect of Buddhism. There's a beautiful pagoda back there. The bell, the temple itself, the grounds here are really beautiful. During the fall, all the trees are lit up with these like bright red leaves, and during the spring, it's full of sakura blossoms. So there's a famous sakura tree outside of the temple that usually only blooms in the spring. But actually, there are a few blossoms on it right now, and I just heard it's because of the recent typhoon that knocked all the leaves off the tree that makes the tree think that now it's winter. And then there was a suddenly really warm day, which makes the tree think, okay, now spring is here. So it actually started blooming recently, even though it's the middle of the fall. But yeah, it's just funny how nature, the tree can tell itself when it thinks spring is here. So that famous tree outside the temple is starting to bloom because of the typhoon and then the sudden heat wave. It's just interesting. <laughs> Give it time. I got it. Ta -da. So we made it to Kakurimo, which is actually the temple lodge. You can have a brief lunch in the traditional style using completely plant based. There are two special ingredients from the area that are featured in this meal as well. The sesame and the deep fried yuba underneath gives it like a really deep, kind of smoky flavor. It almost tastes like bacon. I was not expecting that. This is natto? This is not natto. This is natto. <laughs> if every natto tasted like this, I would be a natto fiend. And after you eat, you can also try on special wedding kimono. <laughs> Our next stop is Kofu City, the capital of Yamanashi Prefecture. 
From Kofu Station, you can walk to famous spots in Japanese history, to regional food hubs, and to a castle. Okay, we're checking out a castle now. This is actually one of the longest stone castles. You can see the line back there. You can see the line where the original formation of the stones was, and the new stones as well. So now we're checking out this miso making workshop place. So we're gonna go and see how miso is made traditionally here in the Kofu area. The building is a really interesting shape. It looks like Mount Fuji. ポジです。えっと、普通いつも食べているお米とはちょっと違くて、こう、毛に覆われているというか、ちょっとこう、カビが生えているのがわかると思う。一番濃いのが3年。後で工場をご案内しますけど、こんな風に流しながらのの木の